Well, this week has seen enough bad news, enough FUD, enough craziness. Let's get on with some good news and some silly news, and let's just have some fun. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Oh, 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 oh. I'm joined by Mark from The Tesla Life. It's not the Tesla day or week. No, it is the whole shebang. Whole thing. How do you do it? How do you manage? Volume. <laughs> <laughs> I made a fake commercial once for Rocky and Spider's used car blowout where we were crackheads selling other people's cars. And at one point it was like, you know, volume, volume, volume. But on screen, I put it really tiny. And I even had someone say, oh, shouldn't those be bigger? It's like, you don't get me, man. It's like, you don't You're not get getting me. the joke. It's okay. So uh, somebody I really appreciate is uh, Tobias Lind uh, from Germany, who brings us gems like this, uh, Giga Train, now electric. Do you remember all the heat that they got for this not being electric originally? Yeah, I, th I don't think the, the heat was something that they should have got for this. Like, come on, you're, you're, you're supplying mass transit to your Gigafactory from Berlin. You're bringing in hundreds of workers you're cutting down emissions dramatically. You tell us that you're going to change them to electrified, but you can't start the train yet. The train has to be made. So come on, give us a break. But break is over. The electric train has arrived. And I suspect that this is the actual train. Do you know how I can tell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those listening on uh, a tin can, it says Giga Train on the side. Yeah, so kind of gives it away, doesn't it? It does. And you're right. This is clearly a brand spanking new set of carriages here. And that uh, is certainly part of the delay because what they were doing was, and I don't know if they own this train or if they paid for it. The previous one was being operated by the local authority on their behalf. Um, and yeah, you take what you can get. They don't own the whole train line, just the part of it, the spur that goes into the factory grounds. Yeah, I, I believe they're leasing the train because they're they're not into owning trains. They're just they're just leasing it. Maybe Which so. Which makes sense. Maybe like so. you, you know, it's something that what's Tesla know about uh, fixing electric trains? Uh, maintenance, right. like it, it doesn't make right. any sense. Follow your core competency. Don't bother going off into crazy things that are one offs. Leave it to the professionals, yeah. I always say. Um, yeah. So this was a fun one that you had found. Talk uh, me through yes. this. Trying to sell my electric car with a bad battery is borderline impossible. This today, uh, and it's this gentleman that uh, has bought a couple of, uh, let's say, questionable EVs over his life. He, he purchased a, a BMW i3 uh, with a Rex engine, so the, the gas-assisted one. He uh, had a problem with the battery on that. Uh, he spent about $10,000 initially to buy it and then found out that the battery was bad. Had to get it replaced by BMW. They thankfully did so. Uh, so he still has that vehicle. Then he went looking for another EV and uh, was trying to get a lower priced one. He ended up getting this um, this Nissan Leaf uh, for about two and a half grand. And uh, unfortunately, it only gets about 25 miles of range. Um, he knew this uh, when he bought it, so which really questions me as to why he bought it in the first place, but he seems to be a do-it-yourselfer type person. He's he's interested in seeing what he can do with it, how he can incorporate it into his life. He doesn't have a far commute. The thing can actually do the commute, but um, I don't think I'd be that brave to buy a battery that only lasts 25 miles at uh, regular road surface speeds and, and lower at highway speeds. I think it said 15 miles is the range on the highway, uh, which, and he didn't even say on the highway, he said at 60. And it, where I live, you do not go 60 on the highway. The speed limit's 70. <laughs> So I don't know if you would make it exit to exit necessarily, but I love it. It's so fun. And he's, and he's doing the math for you. You, got, yeah. you guys, you guys, uh, think about it. If you get the state incentive, if you get the, you know, some of the local incentives, this thing is like a few hundred, but I mean, it's exactly. like exactly a few hundred bucks uh, when yeah, it comes to all the incentives that, that can apply to this vehicle. If you qualify, you could basically get this thing for under 500 bucks. Yeah. 
Yeah. And meanwhile, a golf cart's 10 grand, 20 grand. Come on. What's going on here? And the reality is I would rather have the golf cart. <laughs> It'd be more fun. It'd be more fun and less stressful. And I do love it. We're not, I'm not, I'm not criticizing the author. I think it's fun. Uh, part it out is the answer because the parts are worth way more than that. Um, but, uh, you know, hey, it's, what are you going to do? Are, there are lots of Nissan Leafs on the road that uh, get more than this uh, for for this year of vehicle. But, you know, it, it depends on the vehicle you get. And certainly using something like Leaf Spy or other software that can that can check out the battery is uh, obviously he was going for this i know he was but if you're looking for a used ev try to get some knowledge about how to test the battery to understand what it is before you purchase it because you would really not be in a great situation if you're buying a vehicle that you needed to drive 50 miles a day and it was only going to get you 25. Uh, it's something that you would not want to run into and and find out the day you bought it you would be ruined is what you'd be. I'll tell you the reason I wouldn't buy this uh, sweet, sweet ride is because when the battery is that degraded, I just assume it is about to expire entirely. Possibly. Possibly. Yep. Now, now you guys, we're just here having fun. It's just you and me and Mark. Tell a friend. But anyway, I, I teased yesterday that we were going to have a chat about the right. real reason people buy the Buzz Forks. You actually went into a parking lot and, and questioned an owner of a Buzz Forks and asked him, why did you buy this vehicle? I did. So I was standing near my car, but he didn't know that was my car. I'm just a guy standing in front of, I guess you'd say a gas station, but it's really a convenience store next to the trash can. So maybe he thought I was a bag of trash. It's, yeah. it's not an unreasonable assumption. And I asked the gentleman, I said, oh, hey, because he pulled up in a this very color. The I think it looks good. The silver one. That's a great, very large, very, very visible there. Uh, I think it looks fine. I think it looks OK. And I said, hey, how, how you like your Toyota? And he goes and he goes, good. It's electric. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah because I couldn't see the fenders from space. Uh, and uh, he said, it's so cool. It's just like a Tesla. All the things you'd want in a car, it has. Just, it's so close. Well, if you've never driven a Tesla or only ridden in someone else's Tesla, you might be able to make that mistake. And I said, wow, great. So, um, uh, you know, the question in my head was, <laughs> You what? were dumbfounded at that point. You were I was just like... like <laughs> I go, did you get a good deal on it? He goes, you wouldn't believe. I said, try me. Uh, and he said, he got a lease, zero down 279 a month. Because we're in Washington, so right now uh, you get a state incentive plus, a, uh, plus the federal incentive get subtracted from the capitalized expense. Mm -hmm. It qualifies because it's a lease. Uh, and then they, the rest of it is... 279. Now, I don't know what the term of the lease is. I didn't ask that. But it's clear that at the end of the lease, the capitalized remaining uh, expense would be eye-wateringly high yeah. because you are not paying down any principal at 279 a month on a $40,000 car. Even $30,000, you are not making. It'd still be a 10-year loan to pay that thing off. So the residual is going to be through the roof. But now we know the reason people are buying is because they went into a Toyota dealership. They like Toyota. And the guy goes, hey, man, you want a really good deal? Check this thing out. We're practically giving them away. It's got a cop motor, cop shocks. Got it at the Mal Prospect auction. They're practically giving them away. It's dark and we're so. both wearing sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that's uh, interesting, Brian, because really that plays back to our first explanation, our real real explanation, which is brand loyalty. That's something that went into a dealership because they had bought a Toyota in the past and they were looking for a new Toyota and they just kind of got directed a certain way. So in his case, his friend had bought one and convinced him. So it was the word of mouth thing again. Okay. My friend bought one. It was so cheap. He, 
he let we drove it i went in and got one too which is uh the by the way the number one way uh leafs are sold in colorado is through kyle connor yeah, i was gonna say exactly through, because, through uh x and kyle connor's uh, tweets that's that's how they're sold yeah it's oh wasn't that moved. amazing cheaper than insurance for a car payment like it's um yes cheaper than hulu plus netflix <laughs> because for those who don't know what we're talking about kyle connor found that on the leafs that they were getting rid of because the car is discontinued a dealership in colorado had a lease deal that was what was it 500 down and 20 bucks a month 20 bucks a month gets you a 24 month lease with i want to say 11 or twelve thousand miles a year included yep. um and at that price i'd consider it i don't need one i mean 20 bucks a month 500 down uh that's that's bonkers. The entire life of it, one repair outside of warranty would cost more than that. That's, that's not, that's crazy. Yep. Uh, and so Kyle Connor got the word out and they were moving Gone. so many of them that the thing on it with the offer had a stamp that said Kyle approved because, uh, because <laughs> Kyle moved a couple cars that day. Yeah. That that week, there was probably three, four days, and they, and they were just all gone. Yeah. And plus the next tra truckload that isn't in yet. So they, they moved So some if you're units. interested in an EV and you're <laughs> around Colorado, I would subscribe to, to Kyle's account because he's moving cars. To be honest, I'd say just, just follow Kyle anyway because he gets to other states and he does great work. He makes really good content. Uh, Absolutely. May, maybe you and I could learn a thing or two, Mark. <laughs> but really, we could because he does fantastic work. I've been on his show a few times. Not recently. Got to work on that. Got to send him a message. So let's see. Uh, yeah, that's it for my fun news. Is there anything I'm forgetting? We got to get you on the Tesla life, Brian. We haven't had you on for a while, but you've been traveling so much. So that's been I've the been problem. traveling a lot. Yeah, I, I have. Yeah, it's been a few months. I was on Casey and Friends a while back. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Um, he goes on uh, for the, to, until the end of time. Uh, <laughs> He's still on will, right now. <laughs> you will expire if you're not careful. And, and I unfortunately, after an hour and maybe 10, I was like, I'm so sorry, but I have got I have got to go. He's like, no, of course. I'm so um, but. Casey is fantastic and he's got a big project coming up. Spoil no spoilers. No spoilers. He's got a big project coming up. He's going to be making a series of videos. Casey Green, uh, Mark's co-host over there on the Tesla Life, along with Patrick. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see how it goes. And I guarantee you, he is definitely not overthinking the heck out of it. He is. He is. So guys, in the comments, what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? What is some more good news? You guys should start sending me good news because we could do that. We could do that all day. It'd be yeah, fun. We could, do a, a, we could definitely do a viewer good news segment. That would be fun. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love that. So, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, do the usual. If you get a chance and you're so inclined, uh, you could always, um, you know, uh, help me out. You could uh, become a patron, a YouTube uh, channel member or an ex-subscriber. All of those. Uh, throw a couple nickels in my tin can, my little tin cup uh, that I use not only to collect your offerings, but also I drink my coffee out of it at the same time. So it's probably not good for me but i can't afford a doctor to find out only so, three only three trips to the emergency room i say you're good <laughs> the nickels are mostly load bearing so <laughs> they're structural what are you gonna do i mean get nickel poisoning maybe i don't know so guys uh like subscribe do the usual you know what you're doing i appreciate you guys being here we have fun sometimes and uh, uh yeah everybody else uh stay tuned stay juicy and i cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the next one